What's up everybody? This is Eric with Traps Fly Fishing in Denver. Um, snowy day in Denver, so nothing better to do than tie some flies. Uh, so today we're going to tie the Demon Midge variant. Basically, it's a slight change from Matt McCannell's original uh, pattern. Um, the changes that I made to it is I'm adding a, a little black tungsten bead instead of a black thread head um, and a little different hook. So the original is tied on the Uncle U Series 004 hook. It's a longer shanked hook with a really small gap. Uh, so on this one, I'm tying on the 202 hook. The idea here is that I get a little bit bigger gap so that I'm not taking up all that space with the, with the tungsten bead. Uh, otherwise, tied exactly like the, the Demon Midge is. Um, so we'll get started tying. Starting with the, on the Demon Midge, the first material we tie in is the Vivas Quill Body in Fuchsia. The cool thing about this is it's obviously very bright pink but we're tying it on a red hook. Um, so overall it looks red still, but when you hit it with UV light, it lights up. Um, so you get that advantage of the, the UV kind of hot uh, glow of it. Um, so basically we're just gonna start at the front of the hook, get it attached, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically build a couple layers of this. So once I get a, a little bit of a layer of the, the body quill on there, I'm going to tie in a little bit of black thread. Um, you can also use wire if you want to. Um, I like thread just because it uh, doesn't build up any bulk whatsoever. Um, so I'm just going to lay that thread on there, cover it up with the, the body quill. And then I'm going to whip finish that body quill to get it out of the way. So now what I can do with the black thread, give it a clockwise spin to get it nice and twisted up. So it'll form a little more of a rope. And then I'm just going to put a little rib on that. And I can whip finish that and get it out of the way. And then we'll finish it with adding the red thread. And then I'm going to put a little bit um, of red flash. Um, the idea here is, is it's just towards the front of the fly just to give it a little bit of a little bit of flash, a little bit of a hot spot. Um, what I'm using here is, is um, holographic red. You can use red crystal flash, red flashaboo, just any kind of red flash. I mean, all we're gonna do is tie that in at the front. And I'm gonna bring that red thread back just a little bit because I, when I finish the fly, I don't wanna cover up all the flash. And it's only gonna take three or four turns to get to the front. And then we'll do a couple turns behind, a couple turns in front. And then I'll whip finish the red to finish the fly. And then we're gonna coat the whole thing with some UV glue. Um, this is the, the Solarez Bone Dry. Um, I like it just because when you when you apply that and you hit it with the light, it completely cures um, and it's nice and hard with no tacky residue, um, which I really, I like that. Um, I don't like having to put my UV cured flies in, uh, in the sunlight. Um, just an added extra step that I don't know that's necessary. So I got that coated and cured. So that is basically a, a tungsten bead demon midge. Thanks for tuning in. Um, come see me at the shop. 
um, or if you want more content like this, uh, like and subscribe.